unacceptable and it's a crying shame. It's a crying shame. But you know, that's what you get when that's what you get when you 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 say, Oh, we got all the truth and we're the only ones with the truth and we're gonna correct everybody on video. Before I carry on with the rest of the intro, this is gonna we're gonna show you how phony the the Sakari uh, I guess now the Deacon Destruction Mode and his followers are. All the comments that they left on the video that I did on these guys for their wickedness and their um, their lying and deception. And they said none of this was any of our business. It's not our business. We should just leave them alone. But listen to how this guy starts speaking. I'm trying to pay you guys to show up to my camp. So why would I call the police to you? I literally pay an apologist to show up on this live or show up at my camp. I want that. I want to show the world that we have the truth. Now, I technically don't want to do it back and forth because these are brothers who are reaching and trying to wake up our people. But I think the things that they're doing are deceitful, you know, changing up the doctrine, which we'll put some clips in here to show you that. And uh, they haven't been doing so well debating Christians it's almost like they changed the doctrine just to get more debate to make more money and you'll be surprised later in the video how I'll go into um, some of the followers of them what they're saying on the on his comment board I want to show the world that we can bow I want to show the world that we can Wow. No, no, no. Bear false witness is not the same thing as lying. No, no. Bear false witness means to go into a trial against somebody and lie and lie and lie and say they did something that they didn't do. That's bearing false no, witness. That, that's that's being thing called, thing that's being no, that is that is a lie is that is that is a lie is that is a lie. I wanna show the world that we can Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's my man there. That's my man there. Yes, brother. Appreciate that. That's what's good. So I appreciate that. That's what's good. So I appreciate that. The author of Hebrews is unknown. Just for starters, so we we can't actually. Look, look, look. You see him? You see he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. You see he's all wasn't ready. We have to go with what came out of the man's mouth or what came out of God's mouth. Truth. We when we heard divine say stuff like this, we was me and Deacon was acting exactly like how Sunday is acting right now. Wait, huh? What? Man, that nigga's tripping. I don't know what bro talking about. I remember having a conversation with Captain Zaria about Divine saying some stuff like that and us not agreeing with it. But through growth, through analysis of scripture and analysis of textual criticism and history and understanding what's what and understanding the scriptures, tell me what's authoritative, I can conclude nothing else. I want to show the world that we can... Bow! Whatever is not the Holy Spirit. That's a fact. All right. So, end of discussion. And if these guys don't believe in the full Bible, it just read is not true. It's not the word of God. Does the Bible tell you or command you to pray in the flesh or pray in the spirit? Show me that in the Bible. Do you know the answer? Show me that in the Bible. Do you know the answer? Jude and Ephesians. Show me the Bible verse. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse, please. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse. Where can hands speak in the Show me that. We know the answer. None of them can answer. None of them. Because you're of the devil. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. In the spirit, oh! has a lot of truth, a lot of good breakdowns. I don't believe that they're the best. I don't believe all their breakdowns to be correct. I don't believe their doctrine to be trunk tight, and I, and they're definitely not like uh, they're not debaters or they're not good with engaging. I want to also add that the breakdowns that they started off with came from. Yep, great millstone. And he says that we don't engage well. Now, it's stupid. It's pure to stupidity to continue to engage someone over and over consistently in the same mindset of you trying to win when clearly you're not. The only way you win if you win them over. You're debating against a man that you believe is an Edomite. Why would you continue to go back and forth. And this is what we're saying at Great Millstone. 
Now, these brothers, right, through the spirit of GMS Cleveland, dealt with this guy. And I may be putting up a video on how much they decided to cut out while Vocab didn't upload that video, right? So, at the end of it all, why are you going to debate? Now you're starting to look foolish. Unless you're doing it for the money and views just like him. So we're going to take a look at this short clip of uh, GMS Cleveland. I guess you want to say versus vocab. And various other clips I'm not going to be able to put in versus Dallas and various other GMS camps. And uh, you'll see that it'll look like we engage very well with them. We're also going to show a clip how they engage. I just wanted to answer the a simple EU, question. The European nation has started with the 10 horns in particular. Get it While off. you're Googling, look up resolution, resolution against ahead. Israel. It says, which receive no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings when I was the beast. Right, it says you have something called thou the same oh, as Rome. When Rome was the ruling, when it was the ruling, they had right. thousands. Who, such as who? The Bandits, the Lombards, right. the right. Burgundians, right. the Anglo-Saxons. How does that prove your choice, number one? The Ostrogoths. Number two, how does it answer any question you're giving you? We're just naming a few of them, man. Number three, my man over there. And so it's the same thing. America is Rome revitalized. Prove it. Uh, Look up NATO. Look up NATO. NATO. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. What Rome runs NATO? You were, you're, you're not listening. Politics. You're not listening, bro. Okay, if you answer. A As you can see, Vocab Malone looks completely lost. Did you hear what he said? How's how's Rome run NATO? He's completely lost. This is why the only scripture we should be reading to him is Matthew 13 and 9. Everything that's on the front forefront is easier. But the, it's easy. The, the layers of the scriptures, the mysteries of the kingdom, it's not given to them. These guys don't know anything about history. They're completely lost. This man, Vocab, talks about when Edom was formed, when, when Edom, where was Edom when the Bible spoke of the Edomites? That's his historical history. This is the weakest religion on the planet. Okay, That's why you, so why are you here? Well, here again, you have Vocab who trumps up some questions the night before to come up and ask brothers or any Israelite group questions because what he does is he studies each group. He knows he can't handle us on prophecy, as you can see. So he trumps up a question, some archaeological question from something else. And we're not out there for that. We're out there to teach. Then he says, always answer a man that has a reason of hope of your calling, meaning if you was willing to repent and you were learning, those are the questions that you answer, not debating, right? We already went into, uh, did a video yesterday in that scripture where it said, if a man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. That's actually going into uh, Mark 7 and 6. I believe it's a precept, cast not that pearls before swine. And what that is, is once someone, the ungodly won't get it, since he loves reading the scholarship, he needs to read what the scholars say. Don't debate them. So since we are no longer, uh, we've been crushed and broken, now they shouldn't be debating us no more. Now he shouldn't be going to any Israelite camp since he didn't crush them, right? But you'll see us out there again next week. I think when you crush somebody, they don't, they don't come back. Okay. But let's take a look at the deacon, Sakari, the one that claims to be the great debaters. Let's take a look. What does that have to do with it? Because because Herod is an Edomite, and you believe you believe white folks are Edomites, correct? You know you know Agrippa used to be at the temple every Sabbath. Did you know that? What about it? So it, it, Paul like, said he wa he wanted him to be just like himself. Paul said he wanted Agrippa to be like him. When did when did Paul's will become God's will? It well, didn't. well, he said. Well, Agrippa asked him if he would be if he would make him a Christian. Paul juxtaposes his will from God's will to Romans nine. Go ahead. Well, Paul would never. Paul would not deceive a bunch of people in the room with Agrippa by saying that he wanted all of them to be just like him. After Agrippa asked oh, him if he wanted him that, to be a Christian, by, uh, uh, you, you just make you're making Paul the author of confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. You, you just make, so you can call Paul this lazy okay. scholarship. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. They don't want to go no, into okay. Agrippa the of yes, and the true no. understanding yes, of what happened uh, uh, in that situation. You're making Paul the author of confusion. Okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. No. You're making confusion. Okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. Anytime you see us rebuking somebody, we'll go on a personal attack. 
we deal with the doctrine. Anytime you see us rebuking somebody, we don't go on a personal attack. We deal with the doctrine. We got sticks at Kim. I feel like I'm deacon the guy in 2010. TMS was hating on me because I was riding in the bands. We don't go on a personal attack. We deal with the doctrine. Yeah, TMS was hating on me because I was riding in the band. Hassad was in a down place financially. And so I asked everybody to shoot him some cash out to help him get over his hump. Fly was hating on me because I was riding in the bands. Hassad was in a down place financially. And so I asked everybody to shoot him some cash out to help him get over his hump. Fly lifestyle and walking fringes with designer jeans. I don't know. It seems like something's wrong with this picture. Now, maybe he did come out of his own pocket because he's riding in the bins and he's got designer jeans. I don't know. That's his rap hook. But this group is a cash app hustling group, right? At least I believe that. I understand donations. But what they got in common with vocab, it's the same damn thing. And I don't know why you people can't see it. But, you know. Maybe you'll pay $10 a month for Netflix. Why not pay it for this? So there's something weird that he's asking everybody to help with Cash App to help the brother, right? And um, But he leaves now, so I don't know. If I was a sod, I would think very carefully. Uh, I don't know what's going on. As as the, the crew say, it's not my business. But he ought to think very carefully of what's going down. It may, it may be consider, but it's about the elect. By, uh, uh, you, you just make you're making Paul the author of confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. No. You're making confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. By, uh, uh, you, you just make you're making Paul the author of confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. No. You're making confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith, and shalom to the elect. I want to go in this video. I'll keep it short because I made such a long intro. You know, when you go anywhere, I don't care if it's a place of business, it's a place of worship, whatever you want to call it. Anywhere you go, and it and it's a continuous back and forth, back and forth debate argument it becomes uncomfortable and then it gets to the point where the scriptures talk about proverbs 26 if a wise man contend with a foolish man whether he rage or laugh there is no rest and if this man is willing to debate and keep hiring christians to come down we got to start thinking is this about defending the gospel the truth or is it about Lay in your pockets. They said contend for the faith. Now, we know the scripture says, cast not that pearls before swine. We also know that um, um, uh, 1 Corinthians 14, if a man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Something's got to be mentally wrong with you. Kind of like having a wife and every day you just argue with him. And, and you got a husband and every day you just argue with him. And it's the same damn thing right that brings nothing but strife confusion debate right problem stress you take away from what we're out to actually do right if the same christian group keep coming up to you asking the same question and they're not getting it why would you keep asking them why would you keep answering them it comes a time where you just have to let it go this vocab malone he enjoys it. He enjoys the controversy because of the money. But it seems like this group and Sadnetta and the rest of them they all seem to be brotherhood. You got to start questioning what's going on. Anyway, um, let me go to John 16 and 13. I'm going to read some comments. That's the whole point I wanted to speak on. How be it when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. Does he say everybody? No, he's talking about the elect. So we don't really, at this point, GMS Cleveland dealt with them on prophecy, on the salvation, 
Jew and Greek. Uh, we went into on Isaiah 19. We do new, numerous videos on uh, Israel, my people, which in other translations it said my people in Israel. But, you know, talking about, if we sit up there and say Isaiah 19 is talking about America, and, this, and these Christians going to be like, this is weird. And then what it does is he promotes his audience by looking at us as crazed because David thy king is certain things in the Bible. It's not for them. These are carnal Christians, right? But the biggest lie ever told was white Jesus. The biggest lie ever told. He admits that was false. But if he wasn't white, then what color was he? And let's not say olive, because that's another complexion they threw in the mix up to confuse us uh, of more racism. When black people are so-called olive complected too, if you want to say that. Which is green, red, and black. But the color that they're talking about, a distinct light skin color. They'll do anything to try to keep being the people of God. And the proof has already shown that they're not the people of the Most High. And it's not all about skin color. Right? A lot of these groups, they're hypocrites. And even these Christians, they do the same thing. You talk trash on us, but you take the history and everything we teach. Right? And make it of your own. So it says, how be it when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak, and he will shew you things to come. Right? That's tell you that the spirit grows, the truth grows. These Christians are stuck. They can't break down the, the, the seven heads and the ten horns. They can't even break down Rome and America. They're just, they're just lost. Remember the scripture says he revealeth his secret to his service the prophets. So if all these Christians read and they see that there's all to be true what they're reading, so what is the secrets? Now we got to understand what is the secrets? And who has the secrets? Because if everybody sees it to be true, then there's no secret. But clearly he says his secret to his servants the prophets. So anyway, let's read a little bit of commentary. Uh, and he talked trash on us because we said to call the police on vocab. And I don't know. I mean, you can if you want, but none of us really do, you know. But if that's what you want, if he's become that up much of a harasser, why not? <laughs> Who cares? Because if you're interfering with the truth, right, and don't call if you say we cowards, then say in John the 8th chapter, Yahweh was a coward for running out of the temple. Right? What about Peter cutting off the ear of Malchus, I believe? And he put it back on him. So don't sit up there and talk trash now. You people don't know the scriptures. Anyway, I just want to read a couple of these. Um, they giving the heathen too much credit. No. No. See, this is not about heathen an Israelite. It is about that because we, we're we speaking of the chosen but when it comes to truth's sake we got to tell you the truth. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? It's not about giving the heathen credit. That tells you that you people are in a, a state of court which means gain. This is what this is to you. You're giving the heathen too much credit. And he's lavishly enjoying every second of it. I don't care if he enjoys it or not. If I say you got cut by uh, a Christian, then you're dead. And it's because you went off on doctrine. See, you've gotten away from the importance of the doctrine. Vocab is the devil, flat out. Here's what somebody said. He is not there to engage with serious issues. He is there to... Uh, a gate, negate, and uh, agitate, and get video content for his channel. That's exactly what I've been saying. To um, to uh, Latin, fatten up his pockets. Don't help him. This is a, an intelligent comment. And then people saying, "All praises to the Most High." Can't take the heat. Get out of the fire. Well, then they need to get out of the fire. <laughs> This truth is for the bold and those who stand stiffly. What the heck do you think we've been doing? 
Because you don't want to say go back and forth, back and forth, somebody you stand in bold. But clearly, they put up a scripture with Sakari walking down the street, the wicked flee with no bad pursuit. And it looked pathetic. The way they was marching and walking and rocking back and forth. It looked pathetic. Anyway, vocab is a nuisance. He's just using brothers to make money. Right? Somebody said exactly. That's all he's doing. Why Why are you people, this guy is willing to give him more attention. He's willing to pay vocab, right, to come back to get more debates, to get more views, right, to line his pockets. So they both, I'm not even sure if they both uh, going out and having dinner together. I can't say that. Somebody says, I agree with somewhat with the GMS brother. We're out there for our people to bring them to this truth. Certain camps spend too much time dialoguing with Esau, right? The apostles and prophets' priority was to teach the law of our people. Do you know this is nothing new under the sun, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9? It's, this stuff was going on back then, right? With scoffers. Remember the scripture says, in the last days scoffers shall come walking after their own lust." I love my brothers and the work that they do. I just wish they'd spend less time and attention and attention of Esau on Esau. Vocab is like a Urkel show up at Mike Tyson camp, challenging him to do a uh, get uh, to gain stepping on a bug that follows that um, follows you around. You get tired of cleaning your shoes, so they call a bug removal company. I mean, you know, I'm looking at the comments. Um, pretty, believe it or not, vocab has no smoke, drowns in milk. Sorry, but I have to agree with GMS on this one. Call the cops on that dog. He's a waste of time. And taking away the bread from the children, Proverbs 26. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou be like unto him. This is most of the comments that this man is getting. This is what, and you know what? Maybe you should have took GMS advice. When when uh, when um, vocab came up to San Francisco and a couple of them, you called the, those brothers and told them, don't engage with them. Why? Because y'all know that it's going to be more folly and more entertainment. So I don't know if Deacon is getting a little more distressed. He needs more followers and more views. The problem with trying to keep the hook, you got to keep feeding it. You got to keep feeding that media machine, man. You got to keep feeding it. Let's go to Matthew 7 and 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not that beam that is in thy own eye? How are you going to sit up there and talk about us? And this is exactly what y'all are doing. Right? You're putting your business out there. Talking about Hassad and this and that. But then don't even give the people a reason why. You fed the media, man. People want answers. That's what you set up. You reap what you sow. You sow that the man soweth also he shall reap. You can't talk about us. Right? And you look at how we engaged. We engaged them. Why do you think Vocab didn't put the whole clip up on his channel? But y'all channels, well, on his channel, you know what he did? He put all the smoke up. The only thing he could put up is when he heard Apostle Taha say, call the cops. <laughs> That's when he decided to put it up. But he didn't play the video. He may take a little couple of snippets. Y'all don't answer questions. GMS got him. Whether you want to see this video and believe it or not, but GMS got him on several occasions and I watched it. If you want to go into Agrippa, we would have dealt with Agrippa, man. We could have went to his own commentary on it. His own commentary, when you go into the commentary, he even says that it was a, a cynical sneer. He was not the, uh, he was the young Agrippa, if I'm not mistaken. He was a jokester. That was easy, man. But you see, Sakari kind of eluded, Alizar eluded it, and it made him, it didn't make him look good, man. Anyway, 
um, it's a travesty. <laughs> you know, it don't look good, man. That's all I have on that. Shalom.